Welcome back to Keystone Hobbies. If you like our content, please feel free to help support us over on patreon.com forward slash Keystone Hobbies. Discord link will be in the description. We have one patron, Nate. Thank you for your support. Beautifully done. Yeah. Thanks, buddy. I'm John. Taylor's here. Greg's here as well. Great job. I hope so. Him. It's my house. Yeah, I, I hope I hope, I hope you're here. I How's, mean, hmm? you guys, I mean, another person was here, but you guys just never straight up used the house before. No, but I have walked in while the door's been locked. Oh, yeah. Oh. Daddy's still got a key. Didn't you live here for a moment? Like a day, yeah. maybe two total. It was a good time. You're the least committed vagabond I know. I know. It was bullshit. I had all this stuff planned out and it just never worked. Never worked. That's yeah. okay, buddy. One his one plan worked, and that was getting us back into magic. We Got we all, we all live in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, so we all have plans that didn't work out. Yeah. <laughs> when you want to have dreams that die, live here. Just think of where I came from. You and you came I, here. I, I voluntarily came to Williamsport, Pennsylvania, because it was better here. Mm, you poor thing. That's why Ohio has the most astronauts. It's how far they want to get out of the fucking state. Oh, wow. Yeah. Put that on your license plate. <laughs> 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 oh man, how's everyone been? Uh, doing pretty good. We, yeah, great. We didn't record last weekend. That was my bachelor party. Yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. We we didn't feel like recording on Sunday for sure yeah. after your bachelor party. Yeah, we I got mean, we got back it really was a late. long yeah. time. We take our time coming back. We usually find shit to do on the way back, make it worth the drive. Yeah, but uh, you want to tell people what you got to do for your bachelor party, Greg? Oh man, I got to break my glasses. Oh it my god, great! Yeah, let's remember that part of the whole deal. We we <laughs> let's talk about the good stuff, Look, Greg. Oh now, my god, I'm gonna do the normal Greg thing. Okay, and I'm gonna shit on this party, but. I want you to know that I love this party. It was one of the best days of my life, but I, I got to roast a little bit. Please roast. Go ahead. First off, my glasses. God damn it. Whose fault was that, Greg? Oh, it was no one but my own. <laughs> it was the ride's fault. No. Tell them what you did. Tell, them, tell the people what you so did. So what did you do? For some reason, I thought, man, I really don't want these glasses stolen. So I didn't want to leave them off to the side with everyone else's sunglasses and everything. I felt like, no, mine... My glasses, they need to fly economy, right? In my pocket. In my pocket. My cargo pocket, not my actual pocket. Oh, yeah, the so it'd be safer, right? Yeah, the cargo pocket had a lot of room that I thought of. Um, and as as the ride came to a stop and I checked my pocket, I realized, oh, d- d- did I take someone's glasses as well? Because there's, there's definitely two <laughs> pairs of glasses in here. And... <laughs> I pull one out and I was like, "Oh fuck!" <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Right, almost right down the center of your glasses. You're still wearing them to this day. I see. It, it would have been better if it was more right. the the middle, but yeah. Nope, I didn't get that lucky. No. Nope. So then I had to walk around the park on my bachelor party, nonetheless, with a big wad of tape right on the middle there. Straight Poindexter. Yeah. Took us like 45 minutes to get fucking going. After that, it was it was, <laughs> it was, it was, it was a rough was time. Really bad. Yeah. Well, I wanted to make sure, like, the an appointment was set and yeah. shit like that. All that adult crap. Yeah. Having to make sure your ducks in a row to actually get your glasses done after this day. But yeah. luckily, we found a place with some tape. We wadded that bitch up. It worked. You got to see, which was yeah. most of your, your issue. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know. I just, I don't have a, I don't have a good time if I can't see rightfully so right right I think no, that's no one fair. likes to be it sucks that you're so blind that you need them yeah. like it'd be nice if you were like just kind of shitty eyes and you're like oh, i can squint and see what's going on yeah, yeah like when, those... when you when you said while you're telling that story somebody's stealing your glasses i was like if somebody steals your glasses and wears them for any more than 10 minutes they're gonna be blind they're gonna throw them on the ground is what they're gonna do yeah yeah, yeah. no one steals prescription glasses sunglasses yes man these are ray-bans of course they're gonna steal these. no one can tell that they're ray-bans <laughs> if they were not anymore the <laughs> logo's like scratched all that. Yeah, I don't see on your generic Walmart glasses. <laughs> <laughs> Until you get that logo, that's what they are. Yeah, I mean they broke in your pocket. Of course they're generic Walmart glasses. <sighs> yeah, Ray Ban I mean, fucked me. I uh, I vote for metal frame glasses all Keystone the way. Keystone Hobbies is sponsored by Ray Ban. <laughs> oh, are we now? Yeah, <laughs> because they support my my co host fucking eyesight, so therefore they're support- sponsoring us. Yep, that's how it works now. Yeah, that's how it works. 
But yeah, I got to win a magic card. Yeah, it was. Where did we go, Greg? Oh, Six Flags. Yeah, there you go. Very good. Everyone's wondering this whole time that, where this we, is why we you're went. here. Yeah, yeah, we went. We, it was upon his request that hey, I know what I want to do for the bachelor party. I want to oh. go to an amusement park. So I'm like, game on, easy. Mm-hmm. Let's not go to these shitty Pennsylvania ones. Let's find one out of the way. Thank you. Yeah. So we picked. I picked Six Flags, and there is one in that non-existent state you call Ohio that I looked yeah. at. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, is that Cedar? Something? Cedar, Cedar, Point. Cedar Point. Cedar Point. It used to be a Six Flags up yes. in uh, Geauga Lakes. So I looked it up, and it's like oh, six, Point? eight. Yeah. It's really far away, hours away. Yeah, like it's, way further it's than. A solid, it's a solid six hours. Yeah, so I was like, that's the whole day gone. Or we leave at like four o'clock in the morning. So it's like, that's out. Cause I looked at like top amusement parks in the United States. I know we have a lot here in the Northeast. So, well, I know. And you, you also couldn't like hope to bank on it actually existing either. Because, yeah, exactly. Like, the address is in we, Ohio. Mm. We drive through Ohio. It's like the Bermuda Triangle. We never come out. It just wouldn't have worked out at all. I wouldn't have liked it. Or we just end up in Indiana for no reason. <laughs> just, well, safe for no reason. Weird. But yeah, so you said that. And I was like, easy. Booked it. Booked a hotel. And figured that was going to take up most of our day. And it did. It took me a couple days to recover. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, and I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm giving people, like, I'm starting in the morning, and then I'm giving them, oh, yeah, then I got this magic car before we left. And what, what, real choppy. What was yeah, your favorite? Yeah. What, what, start out with the beginning. Like, anything interesting you remember from the bachelor party that you'd like to tell? Oh, about? boy. I mean, we went on um, the Joker first. Yeah. That was a lot of fun. The carts, like, like flip the, over. The roller coaster itself would flip over, mm-hmm. but your cart individually will flip as well. Right. Picture it's like a car with like four wheels and you're the wheel. Like yeah. you're just spinning around the whole time. That was a lot of fun. Right. Most of the rides, they all had one thing in common and that they were all feels like a too short. Like you wait in a line for 10, 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. Decent. Yeah. But then the ride's only like a minute fucking long and you're like, right. well, just this think this was fun. Attendance is down over there. Yeah. yeah. So the weights oh. were nothing compared to what they right. they were. It started picking up near the end, but yeah. um, I'm glad we got there when we did. Yeah, no, it was pretty good. Like, I just thought it was just like a, a bad day or a good day for us, really. We were like walking around, getting on rides within like a minute or two. There's a couple. Yeah. Like, there's the big one. What was the one that? Superman. Superman and King Daka was yep. like the one that we wanted to get on, uh, Chris and I. And it was like bad. And then they shut it down. And like I was like, dude, there's so much line left to this entire fucking ride. Like you go, you walk past all of these bars that are supposed to separate people in the lines. You're like, dude, I'm skipping past like hours worth of wait here. I'm like, this is good, but it's just those two rides were really bad. The rest of them were easy. You wait yeah. there a couple minutes and get on. Uh, bad for them, good for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, just means that Six Flags won't be around for longer if it keeps it up, though. Yeah, and something that came up that I thought was weird was they didn't take cash at all. Yeah, that's a new thing. That's right. Nuts. That's that's probably something they started after COVID. You know, that guy in the parking lot was a fuckhead. I like that guy. The Man, parking lot? Uh, like, sure, he was fine. But, like, I'm sure in the back of his mind, what happened is we pulled up and he's like, uh, $10 for parking or whatever the cost was. $40, John. Let's oh, not get it twisted. It was $40 for oh, wow. parking. They're re- losing money, so therefore they raised the prices. Go ahead. Keep yep. continue. $40 yep. for parking. Yep. $40 for parking. And, uh, Taylor goes to hand him cash, and he's like, we don't take cash. At least there. He, he was like, oh, I can't take cash, man. And then he just lets us go through without telling us the park's cash cashless. Right. And in his defense, he had a headache. That's why he let me through. Love the guy, because this saved me $40. That's mm-hmm. true. So Six Flags switched over, and they are doing all cashless. They're cashless everything. But they do allow you, like you did, put your cash onto a shitty card. That if for no charge, there was no charge on it at all. This shitty card has been declined so many places. Yeah, they, they, I keep trying to use it. They claim it can work outside the park, which is like an incentive to be like, oh, no big deal. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's not working at all. It's not great. No, that kind of sucks. Maybe next time you go to Six Flags, it'll work. Right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I mean, it makes it easier for six flags to not lose money because i know cashiers man money goes missing all the time somehow so and that and it is kind of easier but it also makes you it makes you spend more money fast 
Yeah, that's true. Uh, I know for a fact, like the 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 little thing that everyone does now is just swipe a card, not know how much is on it, and eventually it goes out. That happens at just like like a Dave and Buster's, like we were at. Yeah, like you run out of money fast unless you're keeping up with how much you have. And the worst part is if they ever switch over to like the tap system, like you you there was a thing that like you handing money, you realize like there's it's not like it hurts hurts, but like you're like oh man, I just spent all that money when you hand in cash. Then you get less of that feeling if you swipe a card. There's even less feeling if you tap. And that's what we're moving to. And I don't know. This motherfucker's spitting because yeah. I'm financially like I know yeah. to budget, just use cash. That's the best way to do it. And we you have the same your money. idea. Yeah. And uh, what well, I spent way more than I intended mm-hmm. to. Yeah. I Like I, I went to uh, one of the claw machines that had like Mario Brothers stuff. Yeah. In, in the arcade at Six Flags. Yeah. I was like, cool. You know, I'll, I'll take a try or two and like a swipe my card. And I'm like, oh, that's really easy. I, I, yep. I immediately lose fast. my three dollars for one try each time. Yeah. And I tried it three times. By the third time, I was like, oh, wait, I'm really fucking myself. Mm-hmm. This is connected to my account. Right. It goes by fast, man. I can do this a lot more times, but Whew. plus I don't all, want to. All the games there were like double the price of normal. Yeah. Like, like it's two, an amusement $2 park yeah. for a try on a claw machine. What the fuck? I get it. But it's like you just aren't going to get people to do it. Like, that's my thing. Like, I, yeah. I, I gave you the coins for yours, and I had a couple left. I was like, I ain't going to put any more money into this thing. Like, the, it goes by too fast. It's not worth it. Greg, you didn't even play the stacker, did you? I didn't. No. There was one at the place when Greg's glasses broke. Yep. What Was that near King Daka? No. Because there was one over the, by there, there, I think. There was one over there, too. They might yeah. have a couple scattered around, but there was one in the little mini arcade they had there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But... I'm. I mean, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. I mean, like it was a long day. Uh, we end up leaving there. Do you have any other things from there that you want to talk about before we move on to that? Past uh, that? Tyler got a prize over me. Oh yeah, because you were trying to get that magic carp <laughs> stuffed yeah. animal. Tyler comes up, cracks his knuckles. He's like, "I'm gonna win this bitch." Yeah, because it's uh, one of those uh, water fill up faster water than everyone else, and you have to have three people mm-hmm. to play the game. Because obviously, you're not gonna play by yourself and win. And and the person they were like ready set go like that type of thing and like he started shooting it like ready yeah yeah his his gun just started going off but he went in there and he's like uh, like he laughed us not telling you he's like I'm gonna win this like, no we're, you're supposed to go up there so Greg can get his prize <laughs> we were like and he just snipes it I thought he's gonna get it for we, you we were no. talking about getting exactly <laughs> three people up there yeah, I think Chris just, went up there right and yep. so like it was you yeah, two and it was like carp. awesome and then I was like yeah only one of us needs to jump in and Greg can get his magic carp and. Taylor's like, Tyler's like, I'm gonna get that magic card, and he just scurries he off. Like, no, he ended up getting the Charizard. No, that's not the point. He's like, I want that Charizard. And he got it. He got the Charizard. Yep. So he Greg had to spend fourteen dollars yep. to yep. get his magic card. Yeah, that's okay. And poor Chris was down fourteen dollars for nothing. <laughs> got him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he was because there was someone else in him coming in, and Tyler didn't play that one. There were some some oh, two people that came. Yeah. In. Yep. Yeah. That was funny though. <laughs> hey, I walked away with the magic carp. I'm happy. Yeah, yeah, you got your magic carp. And Have then John had to carry him around all day. Yeah, that was yeah. Fun. You're, you're, magic you're carp. a little mule. I had I wish I, had, I brought a backpack. <laughs> I had a child come up to me <laughs> and they they were so interested in the Charizard magic carp that I had because the Charizard was sticking out of the mm-hmm. back of the like a little buddy. <laughs> had to had to look at him and was like, I'm a Pokemon trainer. Get out of here, kid. Yeah. I ain't got time for you. I ain't got time for your shit. <laughs> Well, you got Caterpie. Get out of here. <laughs> Get out. So uh, the white water rafting is another thing that yeah, comes to mind. That was that a lot was, of fun. It was fun. It's, it's one of those things you get on there expecting that you might get splashed. But like, man, do you just want everyone else to get hit instead? Yeah, That's yeah. what makes it fun. The My whole time, like, no, shoes no, no. were so yeah. wet. It's you roulette. Can't, you can't <laughs> have your shoes high enough in order to keep them no. dry. <laughs> There's no way. And and I thought I did. I thought I'd be fine. Mm-hmm. But we hit the waves in just a way that it all like focused into my shoe. Yeah, it's great. It goes right the in two there. Chairs. Yeah, just Loved like. It. Yeah, it's a fun one. Especially when you get like random people on there and you're just wishing harm upon them by oh. water, harm by water. Uh, sure, yeah, yeah. The Justice League ride was fun. Yeah, the, the interactive, interactive one. Yeah, yeah, that was that yeah, was a lot of fun. Yeah, I'd say we got this. I, I was high score. I yeah, posted a picture on Discord, but uh, I was I kept shooting and I kept looking at my score like shooting something's wrong. <laughs> Did were your guns vibrating? I, uh, I, oh, see, mine was. I don't think the guns were super well calibrated. Sure, but eventually I figured out where I was shooting mm-hmm. when I was shooting. So I was like, okay. 
I did okay. Yeah. And I don't know if it's like one of those things that like it knows that you're actually hitting it or if it's just like a recording, if it's a vid- real video game. I really don't know. Oh, it could be that. Yeah. Because like I felt you wow. know, like you're, hit, you're hitting things. It's not like that. Uh, We had a Halo game in the arcade that like, you know, you were actually shooting the stuff and you got your points accordingly. Did they effectively do the same thing that my brother used to do to me and hand me a controller that's not plugged that in? That just doesn't anything? work. And like, look how good you're doing. <sighs> they might have. I don't know. But they were keeping track of points somehow. You know what? If if that's how I can say you won over us, uh, I'm going to go with that excuse. Yeah, exactly. Oh, uh, see, we should have got on a second time and just not pulled the trigger once. I mean, like, it might keep track of trigger pulls. Wow, uh, Greg, that sounds really fun. But it's really... Yeah, we all just stay <laughs> there like a regular ride. ride. We're yeah. going to see if anything blows up is really what we're going to do. See, like, <laughs> oh, you good job, good hit. And, like, we didn't do shit. We didn't Justice do shit. League. Lex Luthor's winning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, that ride was fun. It, it's, like, one of those things that, like... The longer it was going on, the more interesting it got. Because, like, it's, like, super interesting. Like, the story didn't matter, but, like, you thinking that you're actually in this car, like, the VR style, like, mess up your head type of thing. Like, whoa, this is sweet. And they they had you, like, going through, like, a tunnel and, like, Mm -hmm. the the one spot where they were just spinning us so that you could feel the forward, like, G-force. And you're just shooting at the screen trying to go through. Oh, it was so, so, so fun. Very well done ride. I like that. Mm -hmm. Good good ride. I'll tell you this. It was what? I, I went down in 2006 down to Disney. All the rides that are like that. Like all those 4D rides, they were just like so – like they have a uh, a spaceship simulator. You sit in that Ooh. thing and you feel the G-forces hitting your face. Like it was intense. I'm like, how do they – it's like the magic of Disney. But you're like, how the shit did they do that? It's like really cool. So – Six Flags is a good intro to anyone that's like, I want to save up money to go down to Disney. Start at Six Flags, get your feet wet. It's not as expensive as Disney, but like, I was happy to find rides like that there. I thought they were just going to be all like regular rides, like the yeah. roller coasters and stuff. The And, and so I'm used to Mark, Mark Hamill doing the Joker. I'm not sure that Mark Hamill did the Joker, but whoever did it on that ride did a pretty good job. Oh, yeah, it was voice acting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. voice acting was good. I liked it at least. Yeah, he did a lot better than the Lex and the Cyborg. Which was yeah. like the main two, right? Cyborg was Man, a little awkward. But. The way that Lex Luthor looked was kind of weird to me. Like his nose was like pointed down way too far and shit. He's like the penguin, but Lex. Yeah, nice. it was weird. Lex penguin. Lex hmm. penguin. <laughs> so after, did you have any? I know we got to go into the drop. I didn't get to go in the King to Kai. Like, there's a lot. Of, you you pushed out on me a couple of times. I thought I thought better of you twice. Yeah, all the good rides. That's up for uh, discussion. You post out on one of the rides. Which one did I post out on? Oh, the roundup? Oh, yeah. That's not because I'm scared of it. I'm scared of throwing up. Um, well, yeah. So, I, so I don't like I. spinnies. I don't like spins. We get on the ride. We're the last ones let on. And Greg's walking ahead of me. We walk by like two children and there's a spot in between them. Greg looks at it, looks at me, <laughs> looks at it. And he just keeps on fucking walking. And I'm like, John stuck with the kids. I'm like, oh, I guess I'll have two fucking kids on both my sides. Yep. It actually worked out because I'm not a small guy, you know, and mm-hmm. and, and, and that ride gives considerable G forces. Mm-hmm. So I was like, you know, with the three of us here, we're like three normal sized people. Yeah, you and two children equals yeah. three regular people. Maybe, maybe three bigger people. Who knows? <laughs> not that bad, but yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, no. After the last podcast. Uh, I don't know how to reference my size around oh, you. Oh, jeez. Yeah, check out our YouTube for the thing that's going to get me fucking canceled someday. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Uh, no, the drunken episode will do that. Oh, oh man, just we, fine. We got to take that let's, down. Let's, let's <laughs> not put a spotlight let's on Let's do it while you can. <laughs> We're get in on that drunken doken now because <laughs> it's only a matter of time till we just go you know what we're too gonna, spicy we're either deleting it or we're gonna chop it up and like put a censored version up because oh, there's greg's gonna have to take like <sighs> five weeks to fucking censor that whole thing he'd like listen my to eyes it. twitching already <laughs> yeah <laughs> just that, thinking that, about it we'll work on it together buddy I'll, I'll tackle the first half you tackle the second half yeah the second and the worst half <laughs> 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 Once everybody's really fucking. <laughs> uh, God bless that episode. We need another one. I just don't know how to do it without us causing more problems for ourselves. <laughs> well, what we need to do the next time we do this, though, is mm-hmm. strictly patron. S- strictly patron. And yes. Make it non downloadable, please. <laughs> <laughs> like you have to pay per view. Yeah, 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 sure. Unlisted but, vid- video on YouTube. Right. Yeah, it's a pretty. It's. 
It's good. I can't even talk about it here. If, we're going to move it's on. It's good for all of us if we are the ones mm. listening to oh, it. Oh, yeah. It's going to be great when we cut all the bad stuff out of there because it's, <laughs> it's just going to be 30 minutes like, of content. No, it, it's going to be 30 <laughs> minutes of content. That content is us just screaming. <laughs> Big pull time. Oh, man. <laughs> But back back to the bachelor party. You enjoyed all the rides. You got to do that stuff. You didn't really buy anything, right? You didn't like get any memorabilia or whatever. Mm, no, all right. I didn't either. I was thinking about getting a shot class, but I thought that's overrated anymore. I have too many shot classes. But after we left there, if we think of anything, we'll go back to it. But after we left there, we stopped. We the the bitch of it was is just finding things along the way because we were leaving pretty late at like nine o'clock. And like everything's closed because I figured I wasn't going to eat there. We ate at that. Fuck, what's that thing that everyone has? Wawa. We yeah. ate Wawa before we got there because yeah, I yeah. looked at Greg. He didn't know we were exactly going to Six Flags at the time. And I'm like, I'm not eating where we're going. Oh, oh. it was hilarious. We were in that Wawa <laughs> and I saw like six or seven people in their in their, in their full Six Flags, six Flags, uniform. Flags uniforms. And I was mm. like, oh, Greg's going to see this and he's going to know for sure. And Greg's just stumbling around aimlessly no problems at all yeah. he goes out to the car and i'm like so greg do you notice anything while you're in there Any th- do you have any idea what's going on nope no 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 idea man this is uh it's still a surprise i don't look We're at all people. the way out in jersey this is this is crazy <laughs> yeah new jersey's wild new jersey's, jersey's, jersey's wild. wild fuck jersey anyways at me i don't care uh so we left there and we were trying to find a place to eat real quick and we got recommendations from your brother-in-law yeah. he brought off a couple places and i'm like well we're heading this way so i hope it's along the way luckily there's like a good decent strip right up there and first thing i found was like well, maybe it was the first like we found that italian place like i saw they had an open sign it had pizza and i'm like let's go we roll in there nine o'clock almost on the dot and they're open till nine thirty. Yeah. Dude, that place is Stromboli's were huge. God bless you guys for getting those ones. Oh, I wanted that's to know. So good. And the pizza was good. We got John and I, we split a meat lovers pizza. You guys got your Stromboli's. Yeah. Chris got like uh wings and a pizza. I am looking it up. Like I don't I'll end up find out their name because like they were good. I would they, go there again. They, no, I'd oh, yeah. definitely go there again. Yeah. The the funny thing is, all you guys went into Walmart, right? And oh, after after we got our food, we had couple, right straight to Walmart. Yeah, a yeah. couple of us already had started drinking. Not not pointing any fingers, but uh, <laughs> I was in the car because I didn't want to go inside Walmart. Right. I was alone with our pizza buddy. I know. I was scared and of, of what would happen to my we, pizza. We were talking about that. I was thinking about it. I was like, you know what? I don't want to get in trouble. I'm going to get in I, trouble. I don't want Taylor to yell at me, so I'm, I'm going to be good. More than he already did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And so I'm like, all right, I'm gonna be good. A bunch of toddlers. And then I then I was thinking about it, I was like, well, he wouldn't notice if I got in there and stole pepperoni quick. I got pepperoni, a couple, so, of, a couple pieces of bacon. I, I opened that shit and I just grabbed one pepperoni, I ate it, and I didn't say anything. And everybody's like, Oh, you didn't touch the pizza. I was like, Yeah, nope. guys, I, I totally didn't touch any of the pizza. What a turd. And uh as soon as we got to the hotel, I opened that pizza box and I took that slice of pizza so you wouldn't know. Oh, so I would never know. Would so never you'd see never know. Evidence. Yep. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, we stopped at Walmart. Smartly got some drinks there. Got did we? You end up having to get your shit to fix your glasses, which oh, was completely so, wrong. So I was that told, was so fucked. Oh, that got Greg. so fucked up. I'm Greg. glad I wasn't there to be blamed for it. Hey, uh, Greg, go get Gorilla Glue. Yeah, that'll work. Tyler, as he's on the phone with Erica, so he's not like fully paying attention. Like Gorilla Glue. Yeah, that's strong. Get that. So I pick up Gorilla Glue, and for some reason, I'm like, oh, there we go. Tape. That's what I want. Not even looking at it, right? <gasps> Grabbed it. Wait, they trusted the blind person grab fucking tape? I guess so, yeah. Fuck. Yep. I'm glad I wasn't in Walmart. I have zero probability so, so, on this. So I with, didn't feel bad, but I felt bad. Well, I felt a little bad. I felt bad because I was like, you know what, guys? I don't want to go to the fucking bar. Hindsight... I probably should have went regardless, just let my glasses um, cure overnight like I did. But uh, I, I still enjoyed drinking at the yeah. hotel. Yeah, that was, that was good. That was good. John was taking a nap, you know. It was, yeah, it was sleeping, much, sitting yeah. up. It was cute. Yeah. Oh, and you two, you and Tyler didn't go to bed till like four. Right? Yeah. Wow. Him and I were just bullshitting until like four o'clock in the morning. Talking about Dokken. Mostly, yeah. Like, Should have recorded that. Yeah, it's, it's just extra content. <laughs> yeah, put it up on the YouTube. 
yeah, that was that was the main thing. Went to Six Flags, spent the day there, got something to eat, went back to the place. Oh, dude, fucking Jersey's wild, man. So Chris and I get sent out on a mission to go get some booze because we're because <gasps> Greg made the the conscious decision. And he's like, I don't want to go. It's it's. I feel no, not happening. So he's like, Can you go find some drinks somewhere else and just bring it back? I'm like. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. We end up doing a little bit of research. We find out that they do have like small six pack distributors throughout Jersey. So we're like, cool. Chris finds that there's a 7 Eleven right down the road that has a liquor license. We're like, sweet, let's go. Shoot down there, roll up, and we're looking around like, I don't see any booze. Like, there's nothing here at all. So finally, the guy acknowledges me and I go, hey, man, listen, I'm not from around here. Where do I purchase alcohol? And he goes, oh, I have to stop serving it and selling it at 10 o'clock. And they like literally lock it like behind a door and they like cover with a curtain so no one can see it. Oh my goodness. Like I'm like, relax. Like Pennsylvania just got six pack stores like a couple years ago and we do it all night. Yeah. I was like, man, I didn't know Pennsylvania was actually good for something. So yeah, taking it for and, granted. And it's not even that good at it because like everywhere else, like I can in Ohio, go <laughs> you can go through a fucking drive through mm-hmm. and pick up a six pack. Yeah. It's drive through buying alcohol. is funny. Swear to God. Mm-hmm. That's that's what people do. I know, but it's just it's just funny to hear because we're so not used to that. Like we yeah. just got the six pack store. Uh, got Wise well, Market selling booze. Yeah, Wise Market selling booze. Like, yeah. you, you guys it's open not, things up. Yeah. So proud. Not just the state run store, but also distributors were the only ways you could get booze. Yep. And that, that that's such a nice move. But he tells Tells us the only place you can go get is a bar. I'm like, a bar? Are they going to make me like buy individual bottles? I was so mad. I was like, whatever. We'll go test it out. We go down to this bar. Dude, that bar was popping. I, that granny's on the dance floor, busting hips, fucking live band. I'm like, fuck, man. Maybe we should just leave them at the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> they won't notice. We were so out of place. Like, if you, like, everyone was dressed up the way that you would dress up as like a young man, and your mom looks at you and goes, Make sure you dress nice. We're going somewhere nice. That's how everyone dressed. Like a nice oh, shirt, no. decent pants, shoes, whatever. And I'm rolling in with like my gym shorts and a shitty shirt. And Chris is dressed about the same. Like everyone's staring at us. Stare, stick out like sore thumbs. But <laughs> <laughs> so we roll in there and I'm wondering like, how the hell am I going to buy a six pack from here? Besides just asking him like, hey, can you just grab me a bunch of bottles out? And Chris is like, I see it. There's a cooler. Right next to the shitters for yeah. some reason. I have no idea why they'd be sitting there, but go in there, basic selection, grab out four that I assume everyone's going to like. Dude politely moves everything out of the way so I can sit on the counter. And it's loud because of the live band. And I look at the lady behind the counter. And I'm like, hey, like lipping it. Like, is this good? She like gives me like a snooty fucking look. I'm like, bitch, sorry that I interrupted whatever the fuck you were doing, but I'm trying to buy some beer and leave. I thought this would be nice. She's like, meh. Meh. I'm like, whatever. Just moved everything around. Just fucking sat there and stared at her. She's probably looking at you guys like, oh, I guess the homeless are coming in here now. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, that'll be fifty nine fifty. I'm like, for four six packs. Like, Holy you like shit. It. it was that much? Uh, yeah. I'm like, you gotta be shitting me. I'm like, fuck this. I'm like, whatever. I'm buying it. I'm out of here. And I was just like, I can't believe I just got fucked like that. Didn't even get kissed. So then we leave. <laughs> I almost it smelled like wet dog there. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Fuck your bar. But I leave there, almost crush a deer right before the hotel. Told him, I told him, don't you dare jump out of that fucking road. He like zigzags on the side of the road and then jumps in front of me. Daddy's got it though. But uh, got in there, got everyone their drinks. John sleeping, woke him up, gave him a beer. Did I did I drink a beer? Yeah, you did drink a beer. Okay, I I, I, I don't remember anything after uh, <laughs> after midnight. Yeah, but it was a good time. <laughs> it was a good time just spend spend the day with everybody, and then on the way back. Like we do normally, we just found places just to go shop. Like I just like look the route, find things along the route, and just stop there and just find like for us, it's like random card comic shops and all that other stuff. And stops at the mall that is along the way, maybe near. It's like oh, halfway. Uh, Palmer Park, maybe. That that was the the really nice mall we went to. We were like, yeah. damn, it's thriving. In yeah, here. we're like what a the? mall. Let's we'll see how dead this one is. And it actually had like stores and like people in the middle, like setting up shops and everything like that too. Because mm-hmm. like my nerdy ass was over at some dude. Like there was like multiple people selling cards there, like baseball cards, basketball cards, and there was a couple of magic oh, sales yeah, there too. I remember John telling me, "Hey, if you need anything, get you go it there." Now. Yeah, yeah. So I have I've never been to a mall where they had like the the sports guys there. Mm-hmm. And they've had a magic person. I've checked right. every single time for yep. magic cards. 
Never once have I found magic cards. What was that dude's story again? You remember listening to him? He was talking about like he just started doing sales and he does a little bit online. He does he sets up shop every now and then. At yeah, like yeah, that. yeah. He uh, he he does a lot of online sales uh, because of COVID and he doesn't want to open a brick and mortar quite yet. Yeah, like he just wants to keep grinding and, mm-hmm. and selling singles. But uh, yeah, he goes he he follows those sports guys and sells cards at the mall. Yeah. And like he does like ten percent of TCG mid. So like yeah, I was I was happy with it. He like came up, it was like fifty some bucks, and he's like, "Will you do like forty five? And I'm like, "Yeah, man, absolutely! Like that's awesome. I appreciate it. Like I'm almost happy. I'm almost about. I almost gave him a tip because like that would just be the <laughs> the middle ground because like he's cut me a deal. You like at TCG market for cards, any any type of cards. That's what that's what they're worth. That's what you can buy them for at the lowest, unless you like hunt eBay. But like, and he just gave it to me less. I was like. I really wish I had a card shop that would give me a discount for being loyal. At least buy a list. At least, a, at least a buy a list. Exactly. So I, it was, it was a good deal. Like I spent more money than I should have probably there. Just, but it was just because I'm actually saving money on cards I wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. And no, then, that mall is sweet. They had, uh, they had that indoor uh, arcade thing or the, uh, the cyber cafe. Yeah, that thing was cool. Greg, Greg loves cyber cafes now. It's his you, thing. But so you've always loved you. You like where'd you end up seeing your first one? Oh. That was on my 72 hour pass at AIT. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah. Some, some people like Greg mm-hmm. are really into like trains and like things like that, but Greg's really into cyber cafes. That's his thing. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Like those guys that like the, the Lionel train sets. Yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah, in, the, he's in the computer bars. Yeah. 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 It's a, some, some people like the matchbox trucks and everything. Nope. No, nope. that's not my speed. Yeah. But uh, the mall suite, uh, there is another card shop in there. And uh, they actually, they are, they have a couple stores. That one that was there, uh, Cloud something. Oh, Cloud, uh, Cloud Z or something. I can't remember. But I know they are actually holding, there's a, there's a big time commander, not big time, but they play CDH and they have a pretty big channel. They're hosting a tournament at their other store. That's actually further away from us, unfortunately, because I saw the name like, dude, that's the place we were at. But no, they actually have two different, two maybe even more stores. But Damn. yeah, they're holding big time events there too. Yep. But after all the excursions and everything, well, we, we can't we can't what? skip the the bit. What what am I missing? The mall. Yeah, the mall. The game that we spent the most time playing out of all of the things <laughs> we did this week. What is that called? Uh, it's called two rods and a ball. Try and make it in the hole farther yeah. down the rod. Yeah, try to get the Pluto. Try and get the Pluto. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we literally sat there and played the. F- it's like it, I can only picture KB toys like having a couple of like example toys out in this game, like one of those simple <laughs> brain games. I guess you could call it if you want to give it a stretch, where you have two rods uh, posted at the one end and you hold on to the other two and they cu- they move side to side. Yeah, and you and pull you- the rods apart and mm-hmm. the ball comes towards you, and then you push them together. Yep. So the ball doesn't fall in right. between the, the two rods. The ball is supposed to come towards you. You're trying to get as far as you can, and it doesn't make any sense when you first start. And it's it's a simple game. Like it's been around for a very long time. Yeah. And I uh, think uh, I think everybody was able to get to Pluto except for Tyler because he's not here to defend himself. Tyler, yeah, Tyler did not. Yeah, he he only got to like Earth, I think. Yeah. Like, he, John he was doing it on hard mode. mode. He was like having it slanted down the whole time, and I'm like, John, I'm gonna move this. He's like, no, don't move it. I was like, I'm moving. It. And as soon as I moved it, I got to Pluto, and I was like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> One and done. That's true. No, it's true. It's true. Turns out a game like that really cares about that's, inclines. That's the type of game that you need for like if you're having like a party and you have a bunch of dummies around. You're like here, entertain yourself for like fucking fifteen minutes here. It like, works. It yeah. works for us. Yeah, I could do this, and then they go, "I can do it. It's so easy." And they just keep fucking with it, and they suck. Yeah. It's gonna be so good. Yep. I'm gonna buy me one now. Yeah, it's like those brain teasers they give you at that uh, racist place, Cracker Barrel. <laughs> the racist place <laughs> with all the nooses. Well, you can't say cracker. Yeah, obviously not. It's banned on Twitch. He can't say cracker. He meant the saltine, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Good but, stuff. Yeah, man. I'm glad you enjoyed yourself. 